So welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. This is day 10 of joy and I'm away. And so I've recorded this class for you. I'm here in the garden. It's kind of sunny, which is really nice. And um, yeah, so we're going to do the wave. We're going to do the tray. And yeah, I really like the squish and the swan at the moment. Um, this is my pear tree. My house is here. All the barrels for Wim Hof are sitting here along beside me. And Poppy has joined me today as well. So come rest on your back and we shall begin. Okay, come. So lying on your back, your knees are bent. Your feet are flat on the floor. It's very nice looking up the trees. I know often I get texts to say that ye are out in nature doing the yoga with me. Mm, it's very nice. So just begin by rocking your knees from side to side. And as you rock your knees from side to side, offer that as you feel sensations, as you feel into your body, that there is a sense of ease to how you're feeling. So often we feel the discomfort or the bits of us that are a bit gnarly, but how would you layer in the feeling tones or the intention that things are softening, that things are deepening, that you are really sinking and being present to the wholeness and the wholesomeness of you in this moment. Nice, come all the way back to center. And from here, just flatten your lower back down into the floor and then arch into your lower back. Flattening down into the floor and arch into your lower back. And just get a sense of that as you flatten down and as you arch. How does this feel in your spine? Nice. Squeeze your right knee up onto your chest and create that same movement again, arching into the lower back and then flattening down. And as I flatten down, my bum is going to lift ever so slightly. Arching into the lower back, flattening down, arching, flattening. And it's interesting, my leg is traveling with the movement, so now I'm going to restrict the movement of my leg. So I'm going to hold very firmly onto my knee. And as I move now, it has to be the pelvis and the spine that moves rather than my leg. And I feel this much deeper into my sacroiliac joint, the back of the buttock, the deep of my hip. Nice. Squeeze your right knee up towards you and then let it travel out and long so you're surging down into the length of your right leg. Bend your knee up towards you, squeeze it in, and then stretch long into your right leg. It's a really beautiful airplane flying overhead right now. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Stretching long into your right leg. Squeeze it up towards you. Stretching long into your right leg. Squeeze it up towards you. Nice. Last time. Stretch long into your right leg. And then squeeze it up towards you and hold on to it with your right hand. And then bring your right knee out to the side. And then back up to center. Out to the side back up to center one more time out to the side and then back to center foot to the floor great so draw the left knee up towards you squeeze it in hugging it deeply down and then arch into your lower back and then flatten down into the floor so I'm letting my leg travel with my hip in the beginning so as I arch my knee travels away my arms are lengthened. As I flatten, my elbows bend. And I feel like there's a traveling chunk of me. As I arch, my leg travels. As I flatten, my leg travels. Now I'm going to stabilize my left knee and arch and flatten. And now I feel the deep of my hip in a completely different way. Now I'm having to mobilize into my hip connect into my hip. Nice. One more time. And now let your left leg travel, stretching out long, 
Bend your knee up towards you. Stretching out long. Bend your knee up towards you. Long. Squeeze your knee in. Long. Good. Squeeze your knee in. Squeeze both knees in. Hug them both in. Wrap your arms around your knees and just pause. I'm going to bring my knees closer together. There's, uh, it's just a little bit more intense for me to bring my knees closer together. And so I'm just resting with that deep belly, deep groin feeling. Maybe notice what happens if you bring your knees closer. What happens if you bring your knees a little bit apart? Nice. Stretch your legs up towards the ceiling. And just roll into your ankles. Big circles. As you roll, just get a sense of your feet, your heels, your toes. And then roll in the other direction. Nice. So bring both feet to the floor and just pause for a moment. Feet are flat, shoulders are wide, and sense of breath into your belly. Super. Reach up, hold on to your right foot and as we did on day six, either hold on to your foot with the sole of your ha hand onto the sole of your foot, or hold on to your ankle with your right hand, or hold on behind the knee. But your knee is coming a little bit wide and out to the side, so it's happy baby pose on one leg. Nice. So draw your left knee up towards you, and then stretch your left leg long, and feel the intensity that builds because you're lengthening out into that left leg. Bend your knee. And then lengthen long. Bend your knee. Long. One more time. Bend your knee. And lengthen long. Nice. Super. Pause there. Left leg is lengthening. Right knee, you're dropping it down more and more out towards the right. And that sense of widening into the back of your body. Bring your right left foot to the floor and then drop your left knee a little bit out towards the left and then drop your left knee a little bit towards the right. So it's um, it's one of those movements that's a little bit weird and tricky, but they're really good movements to do. It's this sense of, like, how would I make this movement happen? What is happening in my hip? What is happening in my leg? Nice. Stretch your left leg long and bring your left leg a little bit over towards the left and a little bit over towards the right. So I'm sweeping it from left to right with my legs straight. Again, one of those weird movements. How do I do this movement? How do I connect into the deep of my hip? Nice. Cool. Bring both feet to the floor and pause. Breath is in your belly. Let it rest, let it settle. Super. So lift the left foot up. Either hold on to the sole of your left foot into happy baby, or hold on to your ankle, or hold on behind your knee. And then really sink and deepen down into the floor, widening into the back of your body. And let that settle. Well, now let your right leg travel. So right knee travels up towards you. Lengthen long into your right leg. Right knee bends. Right leg lengthens. Right knee bends. Right leg lengthens. <laughs> right knee bends. And right leg lengthens. Pause there with your right leg long. Heel is surging down and away from you. Front of your thigh is lengthening. I have a feeling I'm going to have to move out into the sunshine. <laughs> I'm starting to be eaten alive by midges. Oh my God, they're so bad. <laughs> so lengthening long into your right leg. We'll finish this side and then I'll move somewhere into the sunshine. <laughs> Ooh, <phew. laughs> nice. Bring your right foot to the floor. 
drop your right knee out towards the right, and then drop your right knee towards the left. What is this movement? Like what's happening in your groin? What happens in your belly? What happens in the other hip? <laughs> what happens in your face? My face is going a bit weird. Don't know if it's the midges or the movement. Nice. Stretch your right leg long and sweep your right leg from left to right here. Such an interesting movement. <laughs> nice. So bring your feet to the floor and I'm just going to fast forward a little bit now as I <laughs> trundle around the I'm going to move out into the sunshine. <laughs> Bring on a tour of the garden. So great. So here's my poppy. Oh. There's a load of geese there. There's my tent. Let me go down beside my tent, I think. Over here. Oh yeah, over here. Nice. Let me just go here. Oh nice. Hello there. Great. So. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. Okay, so. Landing in onto the floor. You're already there, which is great. And then come onto your hands and knees. Oh, great. No midges here. Rounding your back. And arching your back. Rounding your back. And arching your back. Nice, one more time, round your back and then slide your hands towards you and come into a squish. So the squish here is where you're going to sit your bum back, but as far back as feels comfortable for you. And then as you rise, rising up and pull your elbows back into swan. Come forward, squish, listen to your knees, rising up into swan, squish. Swan, squish, swan. It's actually quite cool being out here in my farm doing yoga with you guys. <laughs> so bring your right foot forward so it's outside of your right hand. And then rock forward and backwards. And so the more you travel over towards the left, the more you can rock forward and backwards. Let's feel that. Super. Rising up, right hand to your right knee, sweep your left hand across into, s mm, what's this one called again? Oh, elephant. Oh my God. Bring your left hand behind you to your bum, sweep it across into elephant in the other direction. You're just traveling one side, elephant, traveling in the other way, elephant, elephant. Elephant. And just feel that. If you're sitting in a chair, it's the same movement with your torso. <laughs> my, <laughs> my geese. <laughs> Great. Push back into your downward dog. All the way back. Pushing back, lengthening back through your heels. Nice. Drop your knees to the floor. Step your right foot forward. Oh, no, left foot forward. <laughs> and then rocking forward and backwards. Sorry, the cacophony of noise is distracting me. <laughs> Rocking forward and backwards. Nice. Cool. So from here, rising up, reach your arms up to, uh, reach your right arm across into elephant. And then reach your left arm across into elephant. How do you lean into this? Really deepen into it, feeling that sense of traveling with your body, hearing, respecting, really trusting the sensations of you. Nice, cool. Bring both hands to the floor, push back into your downward dog. 
So I'll step forward, come all the way up to stand. So we're going to do tray a little bit. So bring your fingertips to touch and drop your right elbow down and then bend down so that your right elbow comes to your right knee. Come back up. And then change. Left elbow down, drop down. You can, if you want, reach as you drop your right elbow down to your right knee, you can reach your left hand up. Tray. And then drop. Tray. And then drop. Tray. Drop. Tray. And drop. Okay, opposite elbow, opposite knee. So left um, elbow down to your right knee. Tray, left elbow, right elbow down to your <laughs> left knee. Tray. Tray, opposites. You can again reach the top hand up towards the ceiling if you wish. I like this move. <laughs> Great, come all the way up to stand, roll your shoulders. Roll in the other direction. Hands to your hips. Roll your hips. And roll in the other direction. Nice. So standing forward to the front of your mat. Step your right foot back behind you. So it's back at a 45 degree angle. Bend your left knee and bring your left elbow to your left knee. Hang your right shoulder forward. And then roll your right shoulder like a ball. And then roll it in the other direction. Pull your right elbow back into a bow and arrow. Touch the floor with your fist. Pull your elbow back, bow and arrow. Touch. Pull your elbow back, reach your hand up. So you can stay here with your left elbow on your knee or you can reach down and touch your fingertips to the floor on your left side. You have a sense of reaching strong and long down into the foot of the right foot, foot of the right foot, <laughs> and then into the left foot as well. A sense of long and wide. Turn your palm and then bring the back of your right hand to your lower back. Pull your right shoulder back even more. Both hands to the floor, step forward, come all the way up. Great, other side. So step the left foot back, turn it at a 45 degree angle, bring your right elbow to your right knee, and then roll your left shoulder like a ball. And then roll in the other direction. Nice, left elbow comes back, bow and arrow. I'm gonna turn my head as well, it's very nice. Touch the floor with your fist. Mm, pull your elbow back. Touch the floor. Elbow comes back. Touch the floor. Last one. Elbow comes back. Reach your hand up. Pause there. Stay there or bring your le right fingertips to the floor. Wow, it's warm in the sunshine. <laughs> Turn your left hand, bring the left hand into your lower back. Pull your left shoulder back a little bit more. Super, both hands to the floor. Come sit on the floor, <laughs> stretch your legs out long in front of you. And then just roll into your ankles. I can hear a pheasant. A female pheasant, I think. There's one just across that way. <laughs> nice. Come into a cross-legged position, and we'll just do the offering. So palms come together in a seated position. You can sit on a chair or on the floor. Reach your arms forward. Bring your thumb and forefinger to touch. And reaching wide. Back of your hands come together. Scoop towards your belly. Offer. Thumb and forefinger touch. Pull wide. Back of your hands come together. So just have a sense of really, like I think it's really poignant or it's very somehow emotional or 
connected or there's so many different words that I would use for the offering. your palms together, receive, pause, feel, sense, the puppies, so I hope you have a beautiful day, I'm sure you're beautiful here, it's great, there's no midges here, <laughs> um, so I'll see you all tomorrow. Uh, have a wonderful day. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how this works out. I have no idea. Great. Bye. Mm -hmm.